Okay, we're doing our quickie heads here. So they're all cleaned up now. So now we're going to assemble them. These are clean, weren't they? Mm -hmm. Good. Valve seals in your gasket set. Remember? Yes, do now. You do now? Put right there a seal. Okay. Doesn't know what it's for. There's an umbrella seal in here, too. See, so umbrella. We need that today in the rain. Yeah. Need it for the wind. See if it'll invert. Right. Some 40 mile hour winds out there today, at least. Well, there's the seals right there. That don't look like an umbrella seal to me. That looks like a valve seal. Those are umbrella seals. There they are. Right there. For the, for the rocker box. Mm -hmm. Got a butthole gasket too. Okay. Got everything in here. It's almost like a gasket set. <laughs> so we need these. Did you read the uh, instruction sheet? Uh, not yet. It's very important. Make sure you read those. Some light reading. Yeah. Make sure you read that. It's very important. You don't want to do this wrong. Okay, so we're going to put some crane valve springs in here. Because down the road you might want to go fast. Mm -hmm. So there's a crane spring. <laughs> Those are stiff. <laughs> so did we shorten up the guy? Yeah, yes. we did. Yep. I thought we did. Okay, so we shortened these up about 75 thou. So you should have clearance for probably up to 600. <clears throat> I'm not sure about the valve. The valve uh, this is uh, the front one, right? What's this one? Rear. Yeah. What's this one? Front. Front. How much clearance you got? Here's the wind's blowing out there again. Pick a spot. One, two, about 220. I guess you put a big ass cam in it. 750, sir. Go down to 350. 200 on the intake. Exhaust. How's our clearance? So that's 225 there and 200 there. We got plenty of clearance. So I need to get up to a big ass cam. No. These valve springs are only for 155 <clears throat> because we're using a silver keeper. If you use the red keeper, you get 175 pounds. Hmm. It packs the keeper in 50 thou further. Oh, really? Which means you lose your valve clearance, you have to shorten the guide. Again, right? No, you have to shorten the guide like this. Oh, okay, sorry. If you use a red keeper with a high lift cam, you're definitely going to shorten the guide. If you use a high lift cam with a silver keeper, you can get away with probably about 560-ish area, maybe. But I always just cut the guys away. That way you know for sure you got clearance. So you should be good to at least 600 lift mm -hmm. without any issues. Okay. And you can run a pretty good TD lift cam, so you can put a big ass cam in there if you want. Nice. Now that's a stock driver. But see, this is not a stock seal. See, it doesn't fit in there very well. So this is a non-stock driver that's been modified. It does fit in there all right. So you had the clearance to clear the seal. Now hopefully it doesn't have an interference when we put the valve through because it expands it out. Mm -hmm. The thing you gotta be careful about is beating these too hard and the guide that swells the seal bigger and it doesn't do anything. Then you get to throw it away and get another one. <laughs> These rubber. And the rubber you don't put lock time because it doesn't do anything. You just put oil on them. It's cool in here. Yeah. Which one's this? Rear. Front. Front. Somebody marked them. Mm -hmm. It's nice when that happens. Yeah. 
put uh, foil on it now. There's interference. It's too much lift. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Just slightly. Inch TD lift is too much. <laughs> Inch a quarter exhaust TD is too much. <laughs> Need a bit less TD lift than that, sir. Mm -hmm. We're going to get to there. <laughs> you want to make sure it does not hit on the seal. Just, you don't want that spring to be hitting on the inside of that. Mm -hmm. That's why I cut it out. These are the kibble right, expensive as drivers, and they don't work right. <laughs> Way to modify it. It's almost like it was a gems tool. Yeah, it's exactly. to modify. It. So it goes right past the seal. Mm -hmm. You know what that means? Expanded. It means it's too far on. That means a door. Seal's too far. So you gotta pull it back up a little bit. Yeah, I didn't feel it stop until I stopped, and I stopped. Mm -hmm. I just felt that one stop there. See how that one catches a little mm -hmm. bit? See how the seal expands when it goes through? Mm -hmm. But it's not a big expansion, it's a light expansion. This one here, no expansion at all when it goes through. What I don't like about these seals are they're so easy to go on too far. Right. So this one has to be pulled back up a little bit because it's on too far. Expansion. Okay. No, they're sneaking in. Uh oh, more people. A lot of work for you. Barely touching. I don't like these seals. Trying to hit, but it's not hitting. But I can't get this one to slide up. Yeah, that one's not coming up. Not very well. Yep. Scooby, are you back? Now it's starting to come up. See how I've deformed it. Mm -hmm. That one's deformed. Can you tell? Slightly. So now I'm going to do it again, but not so deep this time. So 
just got a little drag on it. Mm -hmm. Very little drag, Not though. Much. That's why I don't like these seals. A little bit more. See, it's not exactly a, a ton. About equal. High performance seal. They suck. All right, what do we got over here? Some more seals. I'll put a real seal on there. And a real driver. Yeah, those seals suck. Too fancy. Now these ones here have some bite to them, see? Okay, can we get it on? Can I that one on? Mm -hmm. Much better. I got a push on that one. That's how they should be. Those are the old style seals, the shitty ones that don't work. <laughs> yeah. Sure they do. Fifty. That's about what I remember being. Check this one. This one's about nine hundred. It's got fifty thousand more clearance. Mm -hmm. So those are the ones I like. They work so much better. Yeah. That was my hand. Go ahead. It goes right past. You have no feel for that thing that you just keep around. Do not like these seals at all. Pretty bad when you push it on your hand, you can't even feel it touch. <laughs> Doesn't look like it's moving. No, it's not. It's junk. I don't like these seals at all. I'm sure somebody likes them. I'm sure they're really great seals and everything. Like all kinds of good testing and stuff they do on them. <laughs> all that good fancy straight, how great they are. And Push on easy, but you can't get them off because <laughs> you squeeze them on the guide. Oh, right. <laughs> the harder you squeeze, the harder it's on. Kill my hand. All right. I'm not using it anyway. 
this and screw it. Try to get a hold of the damn thing. So I can't get a hold of it. Do you have like a little flange to grab onto? No, there ain't nothing to grab a hold of it. It's just the top of the valve guide you're looking at. Yeah. Can't get a bite on it. This is not good. This does not help the gasket surface in. Alright. Go back to ones I like. <laughs> This one you cannot put on your fingers. Mm -hmm. Catches. Mm -hmm. Put yeah, this Take the burrs off we made right there. See the marks I put in there for you? Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, no problem. <laughs> Got the one right there too. Big time failure with James Gaskets guides. All right, now these ones here, we shorten the guide up so we should be going a little deeper with them. <clears throat> you go down further. Actually, we can use the. Uh, I'm going to use this one. Yeah. Yeah, about the same 950, didn't make any difference. But I went too far, see. Now these don't work. See how the insert tapered up on it, the seal? Yeah. See what hits the guide, it just keeps pushing it's on them. Right. When it pushes on them, it goes up higher. So even though the seal went down deeper, the end result was the same height because it kind of screwed it up. So, I've had these problems before. So when you go too far, you go too far. It doesn't right. matter what seal you use. And these, you can go off. Without destroying them, you can grab a hold of them. Yeah, they actually have a flange. Mm -hmm. So that's why I have my tool that has a limit how far you go down. It's just preset for depth, they only go so far. Mm -hmm. So you can't go too far. See how the block, the black tip does not poop you out. Mm -hmm. See when it comes up, that means you'll be fresh. You can see we're at 9, 940. We're actually a bit lower than when it hits the ceiling and moves up. <laughs> this one's a 950. Is that? 
ignition? No, it's going now. See oh, the it's cracking it's in the eyes. The cracking. In the, uh, see it. Right there. In the hole right there, you mean? Yeah. Oh. Should have factory defect. It's yeah. still working, but. The, uh, like the rubber dried out almost. Well, they're not that old, but whatever. We got more. It's just not cracked now. No. I do with it. Yeah, here it is. Nope, there it is. Nice. Good bite. 950 again. Okay, we're in the good. Okay. You want these ones or you want these ones? What do you recommend? I, I feel like there's other ones that are doing a better job, so. <laughs> they're doing a better job. They both, they're working. What do you tell me? You want me to take them off? I'll take them off. Just because they come with a gasket doesn't mean you use them. Right. They are working though. But, you know, what's up? Tell me. You can put everything together now. Yeah. It takes some, it's not quite the same force to go through, but it's close. Well, if they're going to work, they'll work. They'll work. Yeah. These have a multi groove seal on them. Mm -hmm. These are one groove. Okay. Those are one. Yeah. This is. As long as they're working, they're working. Yeah, exactly. See, there's a double groove in it. Oh, yeah, I see. The ones are single. See, it only has one groove. Oh. <laughs> see, it's only got one. Yeah. That's why they all they say they're no good. They're not modern style. Right. In the real world, they work pretty good. Yeah. And these so. ones clearly work good. Yeah, so I'm good with them. I'll go with either one. But you see what I use over here all the time. See? Yeah. I don't have those other ones sitting here. I have these. No. There's a reason for that. Yeah, I like them. <laughs> <laughs> they work. I hear all the comments, but I'm butchering everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like butchering stuff. You get your finger this time. Yeah, I don't know why that one got the other time. <laughs> oh, they're beat up for other reasons right now. It's a big cut in this other one. This one here is just still, when the forklift squashed, it still hurts. Ooh. It's only been a month or so. <laughs> Still healing back. Yeah. Doesn't help with the cold weather. There's blood flowing in here. Yeah. I'm not worried about installing lights because we're not doing a performance. We don't need to maximize spring tension. And more likely they're going to be pretty close because these are very, these are good good heads. They haven't had a lot of valve jobs on them. Less stuff to look at. See how that one's not in there very far. Mm -hmm. Compared to that one, looks suspicious. Looks like it's trying to come up. Get me. Make sure it's in there all the way. Still sitting up high. It's weird. Well, you hit them. They're gonna come out. They're gonna get you. <laughs> see how many just sticks up higher, see? Yeah. Than this side here. Just how the machining of the parts are. That probably affects the install height slightly.
these have just a single groove on them. The groove's in the middle. So you take your lower finger and you hold it in. You slide until it pops in. And you rotate until it sits flat up in the gun against the valve, not at an angle. Mm -hmm. You just drop this one right on top of it. You should drop it in. Mm -hmm. So that little one came out a little bit. Mm -hmm. These have very, very little catch on here, so they're easy to pop them off. But once they're installed, they don't come out. Right. Like I said, you always hit them to, just to make sure. And you notice it's not a baby hit. No. You have to overcome this tension. If it's going to move, it's going to move. Have you ever had one pop with a hit? Um, no. I've had them move, though. Mm -hmm. I had one that wasn't in move once. Right. And then come off. I had one come off when I pulled it out. And then as soon as I put the stand on it, pa, it took off. Hit over there, bounced up, hit me in the damn shoulder or something. It hurt like hell when it hit you. I bet. It's a yes. lot of tension. Yeah. So they do sting when they hit you. So you pay attention. Right. <laughs> and you hold it until it pops in. Mm -hmm. Just how you push with your lower finger. Top one, you lay in there like that. Drops in the hole. So you never pull the compressor away until you know for sure it's in there, or at least you think it is. Alright, so there you go. Everybody's going to be getting on me about banging them on your bench here a hundred times. <laughs> see, that's, that's not hurting the head. But it does make noise, see? Mm -hmm. Something about working on a drum. He thinks I'm destroying stuff when I'm not. <clears throat> okay, so if you want to know your install height, these ones you can't really read very well because they're down low. But they should be around 850-ish is where you want them to be at. And see, that's about where we're at. Mm -hmm. but you can't really get to the bottom. This one here, you can see the bottom of the spring right there. Mm -hmm. It's right there. You can see it right there, about 860 or so. See that? Yeah, about there. Yep. Mm -hmm. They're within 10 pounds, probably. <coughs> like I said, the one you can see, the one you can't see. About right there, kind of. Where are we at here? Right there. And this one's a little bit lower, about 840. Mm hmm. This one the keeper's a little tall? Nope. This one here, you can't see the bottom of the thing, but when you shove it in there, you're going to be in high eaters. You can't see the bottom of the spring. But they're close. You can spend a lot of time measuring stuff, but yeah, it's not that important on a stock type job. Alright, so there you go. So, we didn't do any porting or anything, but we did do a good valve job. You can see the seat sipping in there. As soon as that valve lifts, it's going to start flowing. And it's unshrouded on this side, so it comes out pretty nice. But if I used real cutters, it would cut this lip out here, which would have been even more power. But we didn't do that. See a little lift is still in here? Mm -hmm. So, when you use the other cutter, that gets cut away. Right. That's what picks up the flow, gives you more horsepower. And you back cut this here so you got more clearance in here. Mm -hmm. That helps too on power. But we're not doing a performance job, we're just doing a street job. But even though you cut the valve and other stuff gives you power, it still gets you more power in stock. Right. So these are ready to go back on. We got the stud fixed on this one finally. Someone asked how many hours we had in fixing that one stud. How many hours are in that now? No. <laughs> We fix the stub, we clean the valves up, we hone the cylinders, replace the broken rings. We, mm -hmm. we did more than just the stud. But yeah, unfortunately we found a broken ring. Yeah, there's other things we found we got in there. Yeah. All right, that's it for now.